Are there words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all. How concerned are you? Well, we pretty much shut it down. You know, a lot of people think that goes away in April. We have contained this. I won't say airtight, but pretty close to airtight. It's going to be down to close to zero. It's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. Uh, they're going to have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. What can you say to Americans who are concerned that you're not taking this seriously enough? That's CNN, fake news. The president say, for example, he's going to continue with, with political rallies. Is this sending the right message? Going to a rally? There's no reason that you shouldn't go. It's really working out. Can the president stop shaking hands. Uh, in our line of work, uh, you shake hands. No, I don't take responsibility at all, but it's something that we have tremendous control of. I How would you rate your response to this crisis? I'd rate it a 10. This is a pandemic. I felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic. Even though I've been a Republican all my life, I can't support Trump. And his response to the coronavirus is exactly why. He told us this infection would just go away. Even as it ripped across other countries. He's been lying to us about available testing. He has squandered the one advantage that America had. Time to prepare. He says he puts America first. But it's clear he only knows how to put Trump first. This is a crisis and we need real leadership. Donald Trump is incapable of it.